Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Nightmare Fredbear from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So we're going to start in the middle of the face with the nose. So let's draw an arc from the left to the right from the top of the nose. And from here we're going to take these two points and go towards the middle. So we're going to come down towards the middle, on the left, and on the right. Let's go ahead and color this all in black. Okay, now that we have that, let's draw the sides of the muzzle. So going up a little bit, we're going to curve down along the left and on the right. And then in between these, we're just going to draw a jagged line for the front of the upper mouth. Okay, so we're going to come up and just draw some jagged lines. It doesn't have to match exactly the way I have it, just like that. And from here, we're going to come around halfway along this curve. We're going to draw a curve out for the cheeks. So on the left and the right. And then again, we're going to go towards this point with some jagged lines. All right, now that we have that, let's draw the pupils. So on either side of the nose, we're going to draw just two round circles. So nice and big on the left and right. And then for around the eye, we're going to draw sort of a jagged line. So this is going to be the crack around the eye. So again, it doesn't have to match exactly how I have it. Just kind of, kind of like that. And we're going to go ahead and color the outside in black. Now that we have that, we're going to draw the upper part of the head. So again, we're going to come up to a point. So right about here is where I want the top of the head. So just on the outside of the eyes, I'm going to curve around to the top of the head and curve around to the right side. So coming all the way around like so. And if you want, you can go in and draw a few cracks along the skull. You can draw a couple of holes and fill them in black. Now let's draw the top hat. So up here in the middle, I'm going to draw a straight line just across the top of the head. And on either side, I'm just going to pull them down straight. Draw the top hat. So up here on, on the left, I'm just going to come in a little bit and draw a little bit of an angle going outwards on the left and the right. And then just connect with a straight line on top. And down here for the band, I'm just going to draw a straight line across. Now let's get into the ears. So on either side, he's got these two ears that stick out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an angled line on either side first. And then along the top, I'm just going to go all the way around the ear. But as I'm going, I'm just going to make it a little bit wobbly. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. I'm going to do the same on the right side. And then now I'm going to go in a little bit and just trace the inner part of the ear. So I'll go across the bottom. And you can see that I'm just going to go around, just leaving a little bit of white all the way around. Now in between, I'm just going to draw a couple angled lines maybe three angled lines going across. And then I'm going to attach the ear to the head with just two lines. Just going across like that. Okay, now let's get into the upper jaw, into the teeth. So on either side of the cheeks, I'm just going to draw a curve coming down. So you can see that I stepped in a little bit, I'm just curving down. Now from here, I'm going to draw a series of jagged teeth. And I'm going to come down to right about here. So I'm just going to come down. I just want to test the length of each of the teeth. So that's probably as long as I want it to go. Now I'm going to curve up, curve down. So you can see that I'm sort of slowly curving inwards towards the right on the left side. And then on the right side I'm going to curve in just slightly towards the left. And as I get towards the middle I'll probably just straighten up. Come like that. Now from here along these two points I'm just going to draw a curve. So between the top points I'll just connect with a curve going up all the way along the top, like so. Now that I have that, I'm going to, draw, I'm going to color this top part of the gums in black. Let's go ahead and just color that in. Okay, so there's the upper part of the teeth. Let's get into the lower jaw. So down here is where I want the top of the bottom jaw. So I'm just going to try to use my fingers to measure this up. So I'm just going to draw a curve going along here, but along the curve it's just going to be jagged. So let's start on the left. I'm just trying to 
just draw a curvy, wavy line that goes to the right. From here, I'm just going to take these two points and curve inwards slightly, and then connect those two points with a, just a curve that goes along the bottom. Just like so. Now let's draw the bottom row of teeth. So here, I'm just going to go across and come in just a little bit on either side. And then like I did with the top, I'm just going to go across and just draw a series of teeth and try to get them in between the top row. You can see that I'm just kind of going in between here. And when I get to the outside, I'm just going to finish that off with a straight line. And again, for the bottom teeth, I'm just going to connect the points with a curve. So the points that are coming down here, I'm just going to do an upward curve like so. Let's go all the way across. So we're done there. And then we'll go ahead and color the gums in black. Now that we have that, you can go in between the teeth and just fill that all in black. Shop a little bit here as well. Okay, so there's the head. Let's get into the upper torso. So we're going to start with the bow tie. Start with a circle in the middle. And then from here on either sides, I'm going to curve outward. And I'm just going to take this point and just tuck this underneath the lower jaw. Now from here, let's get into the shoulder. So on either side, right about the midpoint of this jaw, I'm just going to curve two lines coming out like this. Now I'm going to draw the sockets for the shoulder, and this is going to come down to right about here. So I'll show you first on the right side. So it's going to be an inward curve, but again, along the way, I'm just going to make it all jaggedy, kind of like that. And on the left side, I'm going to do the same thing, kind of like that. Now let's take this point and just pull them out a little bit, so it's kind of rounded. And I'm going to connect these with a curve that goes this way, but then again, we're going to create some cracks and fissures along the way. So again, it doesn't have to match exactly the way that I do. I'm just going to kind of go randomly and kind of go up and draw these little strips along the top. Let's draw the two buttons. So I'm going to draw a big circle along the top and then a big circle along the bottom, the two buttons. And on the top one, the top button I believe is black, so we're going to draw four little circles. So two, one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the left, and one on the right, and then we're going to color in the inner part black. Now for the bottom button, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to actually just color in the black buttons, some little holes. Color on black. Now let's draw the belly detail. So there's a curve going this way, and again, it can be very rough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, the rougher the better, I think. And then inside, we can just draw a couple of like little squiggly lines, color those in black, just drawing some holes along the body. Okay, so we got the upper body. Let's get into the lower torso before I draw the body teeth. Right along here is probably where I'm going to do the bottom part of the lower torso. So I'm going to put a point here on this side and put a point here on this side, just at the same gap distance. And along the way, I'm going to connect these two points with some wiggly lines. So going across again, some wavy lines, like so. Let's get into the hips. So on this side, I'm going to draw a curve on either side going inwards. Now the lower torso stops right about here, so I'm just going to draw a curve right in the middle and connect these two points with some wavy lines. It just makes it a little bit easier when you make little guidelines and dots along the way. Let's draw the row of teeth. So on the left I'm going to start drawing these jagged lines, it's sort of how I did with the top row of teeth here. So I'm going to start with these curves that are sort of curving in towards the right, and as I get towards the middle, I'm going to straighten out, and I'm going to start curving the tip towards the left. Along the way, draw a couple more here, and I'll just finish off like that. Now, at the top peaks, all I want to do is just draw these little curves that connect the, t the peaks of those teeth. Curve that over that way, and go like this. We can go ahead and color that in a little bit later. But now with the, because you're sort of looking down at the lower torso this way, these points are going to have to go back and just a little bit of perspective. So I'm just going to draw a wiggly line going in behind the teeth there. And we can draw, color all this stuff in black in the inside. 
go ahead and do that. And for those that are wondering what marker or pen that I use, I'm using some Sharpie fine point markers. I use these for all my lessons. You can actually get these on our website at www.cartooningforkids.com. So there we have the teeth. Let's do the bottom body detail. So there's like a little line or separation that comes along the bottom. So again, I'm just going to do a really wiggly line that goes across like that. Okay, so we got the torso. Let's get into the arms before we get into the legs. I'm going to do the upper part of the arms first. So what it is, it's basically a curve like this and it sort of caps off at the bottom. So I'm going to start on the inside here and just kind of make my way around to the outside. So starting here, I'm just going to just wiggle the line that looks like a little curve like that. And along this line, I'm going to connect these two points, but along the way, I'm just going to do some jaggedy lines like so. Now let's draw the forearm. Now I'm going to start with the curve along the top first. So again, just a wavy line like this. I'm going to curve the outside of the arm, and then the inside of the arm, and then connecting the two, again, with some cracks along the way. Now I'm going to draw the joints in after I get all the main parts of the arm in first, okay? So along the top edge of the hand, so we're going to draw this part of the hand. I'm going to draw a curve like this. I'm going to draw the outer part of the hand. Now the inner part goes into the thumb, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the ball joint for the thumb first. Take this point and just draw right into that thumb. And along this way, I'm going to draw some rough lines going across. Now let's get into the thumb first before I draw the fingers. From here, I'm going to draw two lines coming down from that ball joint and then rounding out. Now from here, I'm going to draw two little lines and then draw an intersecting longer line that goes across and then I'm just going to draw the claw, the thumb claw. Now along the fingers, I'm going to keep this quite simple. I'm going to start by the, drawing the inside part of the first finger, going across and then in. We're going to do a series of overlaps, just going across, we're going to do this four times. And it can be sort of slightly varying lengths here. Then from here, I'm just going to draw the rounded tips of the fingers. I'm going to overlap. Here, I'm going to just do a couple overlaps. Like so. And again, like I did with the thumb, I'm going to start with two little lines. Intersecting a line, and then going into a sharp claw. So we'll do this four times across. So, you can make them longer if you want. Actually, it might, it might probably be a little bit longer than that. So, now let's get into the inner parts of the arm. So, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep this quite simple. I'm just going to draw two lines going across, two lines going in from the sh uh, upper arm. And then back here, I'm just going to draw a wiggly line going in behind that. Just like this. And then I'm going to color that all in black. Do the same thing here. So from this point in the forearm, I'm just going to go right into that wrist, color the rest in black, and now you can go in. This is a good time to go in and just start drawing in some wiggly lines, coloring them in black. And again, it can be random. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Put a couple here and there. Put one in the back of the hand here. This and probably put one more here. And then back here in the shoulder, I'm just going to take this point and drop it right behind that arm. Here, and then just color all this in black. Just trying to fill in as much black as I can between the joints. Okay, so we got that arm. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. So let's start the inner part of the arm again. I'm going to come around to the other side. So just a wiggly line goes to the outer part of the forearm or the upper arm. Going across, so crack lines. This. Now let's draw the upper part here. So some wiggly lines like this. Curving the inner part of the forearm the outer part of the forearm, and then the cracks in between. Let's draw the upper part of the wrist here. Now I'm going to go the outer part of the hand. Let's draw that ball joint from the thumb right here. Bring that line right in, and then just cracking the edge like so. Let's get into the thumb. So I'm going to draw the two lines coming out, rounding that off. I'm going to bring the thumb down this way. So I'm going to draw the two lines coming down, 
straight line across here, and then a hooked thumb. Let's draw the fingers. So the fingers are going to be basically a big rectangle. I'm just going to overlay, overlap these all the way across, and then I'm just drawing overlapped hooks all the way across like this. And then for the fingers, again, just like I did on the other side, just draw the two lines going out, intersecting line, and the hook, two lines, intersecting line, hook, and you'll see just a little bit of the pinky one back there like that. Let's draw the, the joints, the skeleton underneath, draw some wiggly lines coming in, coloring all that in black here. Let's get into the forearm here, coloring that all in black, like so. And then back here, just filling all this in black that I can. And then let's go ahead and draw some cracks. Just some more holes. If I'm going a little bit too fast for you, you can always pause the video and just get caught up. So, and there we go on the back of the hand there. Okay, so now we got the whole upper body done. Let's get into the legs. So the legs are essentially the thighs, the calves, and the feet. So I'm going to start with the thigh. So basically the thigh is a big curve like this. So I'm going to start right along here. So this is where my knee is. So I'm going to start with there by drawing a broken line across. Now what I want to do is I'll take this line and go right into that lower torso. This. I'm going to take this line and go back. I'll just follow that same line along the hip. And then from here I'm going to connect down to the knee area. You see this goes behind that hand like that. Now let's draw the connector in between the, the shin. So here, I'm just going to draw a wiggly line like this. Let's go and draw the eye, either side of the shin. So the, the outside, and then the inside. And then again, cracking the bottom, like so. Now from here, I'm going to draw the bottom of the ankle. So again, breaking the bottom of the ankle here. I'm going to draw the back of the heel. Now this is going to come up to towards the front of the toe, so going straight across the bottom. And from here, I'm just going to curve all the way around from the first toe, like this. And I know that there's a big hole in the front toe, so I'm just going to color in a big black circle there. There's some missing toes in between, so I'm not going to bother drawing anything there. I'm going to move up here, draw a straight line, and curving the back toe like this, and curving upwards into the heat into the ankle there. Now let's draw some joints in here. So just like we did with the arms, two lines coming down from the thigh to the calf, and then down into the ankle here. And I'm going to take these outside points and just wiggle some lines in towards the center there. And again, I'm going to color all this in black. I could probably do the same with the, back, the, the lower part of the leg, so I'm going to color all this in black here. Just try to fill that all in. And then down by the calf, just bring that in. And coloring it in like so. And then again, going in and just drawing some wiggly lines, a little bit more like vertical, so they're like strips taken out. Just draw a big one here, and there, and a couple here. And if you want, you can actually go in and just draw a couple cracks like this. Just pulling some wiggly lines across. This looks cool. And for the hips, let's draw a line going in, just enough to be able to fill in the inner parts of black because you don't want to keep that all empty or anything. So there, so we've got that one leg. Let's draw the exact same thing on the opposite side. So starting with the knee area, we're going to draw a wiggly line like so. This inner part, I'm going to come in towards the hip. This one, I'm going to go out. And just aim for that hip side there. I'm going to curve this around like that. Let's draw the upper thigh or the upper calf area. Curve in the back and the front of the calf, and then we'll wiggle a line across. Now for the ankle, I'm just going to wiggle a line across the ankle, drop the heel back down. Now from here, there's two big toes missing at the front, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go across, and I'm going to make my way towards the big toe in the back, so I'll wiggle a line across like this. Now from here, I'm just going across like I did here, curving around and pulling that right into that toe. And here, all I need to do is pull up, wiggle it across, and then come down. I'll color all this in black. 
There you go. Now, let's get in and draw the joint. So we're going to draw that joint there, this one here. And again, we're going to color in as much as we can in the inside black. So, pull it a little bit more there, here. Take this point and pull it in. Take this point and pull it in. Coloring all that in black. Probably want to fill in that part there as well. And then in here, color all this in black. Like that. And then going ahead and drawing more big holes in the leg. I'm just going to pull this up like that. That's the great thing about working with black ink is that you can always cover up some mistakes if you make them. So we'll blend things around. And I think that's pretty much it. There is Nightmare Fredbear from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Check out our FNAF playlist. I have a ton of characters in there. Got a couple animated shorts. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.